G'day, my name's Jeremy Liston. I'm an owner operator in Dunneasy Seed Cleaning based out of the Skipton district in Western Victoria. In this region, key diseases are Pythium root rot, Rhizoctonia. Uh, there can be issues depending on the year with crown rot, smuts, bunts, and some of the products we use cater for red-legged earth mites and aphids loose and fleas, that sort of stuff. So that's insecticide, but the rest of them are fungicides. To deal, yeah, with, with root and seed-borne diseases. Evergoal Energy is intended to provide a broad range of control for cereal diseases, both as a seed treatment and an in-furrow option. We have a new formulation of Evergoal Energy, which has uh, been submitted for permit with the APVMA. And under that permit, we're going to test the new formulation at a number of sites around the country. And our intent is to show that there is an improvement in seed drying time, seed flow rates and a reduced build up on equipment. My experience with Evergold dates back to Evergold Prime initially. They improved it, moved to Evergold Energy, which was a good product, but we had problems with the tackiness of it. And today, yeah, we're, we're trawling a new formulation of Evergold Energy and to this minute, we're going pretty well. It, uh, it washes out well. We don't seem to have the tackiness issues and seems to be going really well. So what we've seen so far, there's been no uh, build up of product on equipment. So that's a plus for us. Uh, the seed flow rate seems good. The uh, operator's running at the normal tons per hour that his machine uh, operates at. Uh, the farmer had no issues getting the uh, treated grain out of his bin and into the, an auger and then back into the silo, so um, everybody that's been involved so far today has uh, been happy with what they've seen. So at the trial today, the seed coverage has seemed uh, pretty good. We're going to uh, take some samples and we'll test those back in the lab to get actual uh, active ingredient loadings, but um, the grader and the farmer are both happy with what they're seeing coming out of the, the treater. It's performing similarly to normal Evergold Energy, probably from my respect. It seems to be cleaning out better and you don't seem to have the build up on the belt and in the mixing chamber that you would with the normal Evergoal Energy, but in terms of coverage, it's very much the same. If Bayer decided to continue on with this formulation, I would be more than happy to use this.